Yes, I was able to get a cruise for only $59 per person per night on Royal Caribbean, excluding onboard gratuities. And if you stay with me, I'm going to show you a little known secret on how you can also get good deals on Royal Caribbean that leave within the next 90 days. My name is Brian and this is Tips for Cruisers. My first tip is to consider a shorter sailing, like the three and four night ones. Now your three night ones are Friday through Monday, which are a little bit more of a party atmosphere compared to your four night sailings Monday through Friday. Now there's a couple reasons why these three and four night sailings are a little bit more budget friendly. First, they're shorter. So overall, they cost a little bit less. Secondly, these are typically on older ships and not their brand new ships. However, Royal Caribbean is changing that all up when they launched the sixth Oasis class ship, Utopia of the Seas, in July of 2024. This brand new ship will be sailing exclusively three and four night sailings starting in July, leaving from Port Canaveral, which is only about an hour away from Disney. What I love about this is that it's gonna give me and you a chance to experience a new ship at a reduced rate simply because it is less nights. My wife and I are actually booked on her. And while it's about triple the price of that $59 a night that I'm gonna tell you about at $170 a night, I feel like it's still a good deal for a brand new ship that will have been sailing for only four months. This leads me to my next tip. If you wanna save even more money, cruise on an older cruise ship. I'm not saying you have to cruise on a 20 year old ship, just not a new ship. While Icon of the Seas is the newest ship, the second newest ship is Wonder of the Seas, which launched in 2022, which was the largest ship until Icon of the Seas launched in January 2024. Wonder of the Seas will also be doing short sailings now beginning in 2025. It'll just be docked in Miami as opposed to Port Canaveral. And you can get some great deals on this two year old ship with my next tip. But first, let me show you an apples to apples price comparison of what it's like to cruise on a new ship compared to an old ship. Booking a seven night cruise on the new Icon of the Seas seven months in advance for an October sailing, we are looking at over $2,600 per person versus about $700 per person on Freedom of the Seas before taxes and fees. Freedom launched in 2006, however, it underwent a massive amplification at $116 million in early 2020. So it has a bunch of the water slides, restaurants, among other things. Fun fact, this was the very first ship that was brought back into service after COVID. A second example, but on a four night cruise comparison is Utopia of the Seas versus Liberty of the Seas for a November 2024 sailing. These rates are at $784 for an interior room for two people on Liberty of the Seas versus $1,025 on Utopia of the Seas for an inside cabin. So for $240 difference for a brand new ship on the exact same days, it might be worth doing it. And you might be wondering, why isn't the price very much different? The reason for this is because of my next two tips. But first, let me invite you to like and subscribe if you're learning anything here. These two tips that I continue to utilize are to book far in advance and to always use a travel agent. Two things that I do on every one of my cruises, if possible. At least use a travel agent, I do. Now, on these particular rates, I booked a year and three days in advance. So, back in November 15th of 2023, I booked the November 15th, 2024 cruise. And you see the rates here for Utopia of the Seas and Liberty of the Seas, which were the two ships that we were deciding upon because these dates worked well for our schedule. At $785 and $1,025 for the brand new Utopia of the Seas, we elected to go with Utopia of the Seas. But if we were to book those exact same cruises today, only eight months in advance instead of 12 months in advance, it would be $161 more for Liberty of the Seas and $400 more for Utopia of the Seas, or about a $100 price increase per month. Now the reason for this is for two reasons. Once again, we're not being booked as far in advance so the price has increased. Also consider these were my travel agent rates. She was actually able to give us a group rate. And these group rates that we were given, they don't even include the free onboard credit that we were given for this short cruise. An onboard credit is part of one of my next three quick tips. And that is being flexible, not cruising during peak and being loyal. 
And what I mean by loyal, also loyal to your travel agent. When you're loyal to your travel agent, they'll often give you onboard credit. And the onboard credit can come from many different places. It can come from being loyal to the cruise line, booking far in advance. It can come from the travel agency, and it can even come from your own travel agent's own commission. Now, my travel agent actually separates it out, and she shows how much onboard credit is coming from the different areas. And one of the areas is directly from her, AKA her commission. The other important thing is to be flexible. When you're looking at cruises, don't always have to cruise on a particular week, if possible. When you look a week before, a week after, or two weeks before and two weeks after, the prices fluctuate greatly sometimes. Sometimes $1,000 or more. So if you can be flexible, you can save a significant amount of money. However, with kids and work, I understand that you might not always be able to be that flexible. So cruise off peak. And what I mean by off peak is think about a traditional school calendar year. The Christmas time is not off peak. The summer is not off peak. Spring break, Easter weekend, MLK weekend, not off peak times. So if you can cruise in off peak, like September, October, first part of November, first part of December, etc., etc., you will save significant amount of money and you'll also be able to utilize my next tip. While I have more money saving tips for you, let me tell you first how I was able to get this low $59 rate per person per night on Freedom of the Seas. While I utilized nearly every single tip so far, I wasn't able to book this one quite as far in advance as normal as this was only booked six to seven months in advance. The Kid Sale Free promo is one of the best deals that there is. They are truly cruising for free. You just have to cruise during non-peak. So non-busy times, AKA during a traditional school year. This is a great time to maybe either just pull your kids out of school or to utilize a fall break in maybe the month of October and be able to go on a shorter cruise or a whole week cruise. Now, this cruise is truly free. The only thing you're paying are the port fees and taxes. We are able to go on Freedom of the Seas and an early October sailing for $1,800 for four of us in an interior cabin. Now, you might be doing the math and saying this is $65 a night. However, our travel agent was able to give us $150 of onboard credit. So when you factor that in, it is only $59 per person per night. The only other gotcha fee that we have is going to be our onboard gratuities that we have to pay per person per day. As you can see, you can still save a boatload of money even in today's economy and rising prices. And that leads me to my next tip, which is a little known secret. I'm talking about the going, going, gone sale. These are sailings that are gonna be leaving within the next 90 days. And the reason why this is important is because final payment is between 75 and 90 days before your cruise, depending on the length of the cruise. Now these going, going, gone sale is offered every single Monday and they do disappear fairly quickly. So you wanna be sure to check it on Monday evening and Tuesday. The easiest way that I've been able to find this at a quick, easy snapshot of all the different ships, sailing dates, itineraries, is to simply go to Google and type in Royal Caribbean going, going, gone. That way, you have a really quick PDF that you see here with all the sailings and the prices. Now that you know how to book a room for $59 per person per night, you can continue the money saving tips once when you're on board by only drinking free drinks. Just simply click or tap your screen here and learn all about that. And while you're at it, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you know someone that might could use a tip or two, please go ahead and share this video. Thanks for watching. This is Brian, Tips for Cruisers.